Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa. I'm here for my first time alone. So we're gonna walk around the actual city and get some first impressions, see what Cape Town's actually like, the real streets of Cape Town. cafes I think I've ever been in with a view like this but I found a garden about a 10 minute walk so we're gonna go uh, find this garden and enjoy our breakfast because I'm down bad with a shell I can eat some coffee Alright, we just found this random garden to have our breakfast. <coughs> and honestly, I don't really have much on my itinerary. For this video, it's just a first impressions video where I walk around and, you know, see what the city has to offer kind of spontaneously. Not much on my agenda, but um, this garden I just walked in is really pretty. A great spot to have your morning coffee and bagel. This area has a nice little Central Park vibe to it, which is one of the things I do love about cities is you can get away from a concrete jungle, which not that Cape Town feels like a concrete jungle, but it's just nice when you have gardens, when you have parks, when you have greenery, like Mexico City is one of my favorite cities because of that. And then this right here just really, really like gave Cape Town a lot more points. So cheers guys. We're gonna enjoy our bagel, which is loaded with onions. Oops. Mmm. Strong taste of salmon. I love to just go to a park, sit by myself, either read a book, listen to music, or just people watch. You have your coffee, you got your food, whatever it is. These are the moments in solo travel where like, I feel really grounded, I feel present, and this is why I do it. It's for these moments like this, it just feels really good to be kind of by yourself in a park in a foreign country, enjoying your coffee. All right, we are now in the city center, at least that's what it says on um, my Apple Maps. Not really sure what the vibe is gonna be here. It's obviously very city-like, grid-like, and walkable, so we're just gonna walk around and explore. Kinda have nothing on the itinerary, like I said. Just walk around and um, see what the city center's like. All right, lots of street vendors, lots of clothes very thick material type of clothes, so way too hot for me to even try to get something like that. I do want some food though. I'm gonna try to find um, a random local spot, get some food. I do love the vibrant, the vibrancy of all the clothing and stuff, like all the patterns, the colors. It feels very cultural in South Africa. That. Hello. Hi. I'm good. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. Do you have any rings? I've got some keys, jewelry three magnets. Oh, how much are your magnets? These ones are forty nine. Forty nine. If, if you take forty nine, four zero. Okay, do you do card? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Can oh, I also, is there a bag? I can yeah, take a bag. Okay. I'm I don't have anything on me. Yeah. I do need to get a magnet for a friend. Okay. We can put on the big five. It was in Kenya, the hippo is part of the big five. The big five is South Africa, or what do you yeah, mean big South five? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put the hippo. Yeah, which, which hippo now? You want this? Um, yeah, that one's fine. 
Okay. Um, Anything to do or see in this area? Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Table Mountain. Table you can mountain. take a thing up there, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Go with, the, with that cable there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> City center does feel a lot newer than I was expecting. Like, very clean. The streets are nice, buildings are new, very modern. So I'm really liking the city center as well, but just in general, Cape Town itself is one of my favorite places I think I've been to so far. It's very hot and I noticed a lot of these places indoors don't have AC, the windows are just open. Um, at least all the places I've been into. So I'm kind of sweaty and I'm gonna cool down with the beer, get some food and we'll go back out in the streets. The part wolf one is South African? Okay, can I try that please? Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. All right, we got the part wolf light beer, which I guess is, <clears throat> never heard of it, but she said it's South African, so. Cheers, my friends. Tell you what, I really don't drink that much anymore. So, but um, but, but one beer these days. I'm good. Thank you, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very hot. very hot. As I was saying, though, I don't drink that much anymore. Really, I only drink when you see me drink on this YouTube channel. Um, but one beer these days gets me feeling super fluffy and light which is a little concerning. It's crazy in a lot of cities I've been in, after one beer you walk around, you're just like, pack your bags, I'm moving to Cape Town. Type of energy, like this right here. I can see myself spending the rest of my life here. It's one of those cities where you have where occasionally it is pretty rare um, to just walk into and find a city that you love and you can visualize yourself living there for the rest of your life. That's the feeling I'm having right now with Cape Town. Now the video never really captures it. I know in videos, pictures, it never does it justice like the size of this mountain right here. But every street you kind of get a glimpse of the mountains around the city and it's just a really beautiful they're huge huge mountains too and you obviously can't tell that the scale of it with video so you really do have to come here in person and see it yourself i recommend pretty much every city i go to but cape town uh put it on high on your list my personal recommendation like i said this is my first day kind of walking around but i already love the coffee shop scene the restaurant scene is really cool bar scene it's walkable it's friendly the people here are very nice um, so definitely recommend coming here like I said it's incredibly beautiful just for the scenery itself also, I don't want money I'm just walking yeah I don't want money okay thank you have a good day Masha, I, I don't want Trying money to walk. yeah I don't want money okay I just want to break Okay. You're gonna buy me. The hounders here are very persistent. Every street I've been on, I'm not gonna film. This is a really cool area. Sorry, <laughs> one beer in and my ADHD is all over the place. Really cool area, but yeah, every street I go on, there's someone asking me to provide them with something. I'm out of breath. I can barely provide myself air right now. My deodorant and my toothpaste both melted in the hotel I'm staying at because there's no AC. Um, so my breath, my armpits, my back sweat, 
the aroma around me right now is probably not the best first impression to give off, but first impressions of Cape Town is this city is absolutely beautiful. All right, we found our little market. Also, just look at the view. It's casual next to this market. I'm gonna go get some water and some other supplies. Like I just gave me this shine. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's go. Refrigerated, that's good. I bought only one thing, please. Only one thing. Only one thing. Alright, we're walking the other way because we're getting followed into the market. <laughs> Super uncomfortable to film those scenarios too but a guy was literally following me in the market telling me to pay for a bunch of stuff so we got this yep he's calling for me now a bit overdue on the water Let's see how this is cheers So would like to add, I haven't seen anything or myself experienced anything um, dangerous or sketchy. Um, obviously at night is when Cape Town is supposed to be more dangerous, but there is a lot of robberies and pickpocketing of tourism during the daytime from what I read. But I was in the city center for probably four or five hours, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. And especially for myself, I never felt unsafe in any situation. So. It's not always true what you read online. Obviously, this is just my experience. But um, the rep I hear of Cape Town isn't the best. All right, my friends, I'm out of breath. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for joining me on, this, on my first Cape Town adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will say, from my personal experience, there was a lot of, I don't like to use the word beggars, but there's a lot of people approaching me for assistance with something for me to give them money or whatever it may be, um, which is a little overstimulating and overwhelming, especially when you're solo traveling. But besides that, I really did enjoy the city, like this view really doesn't get old. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely come to Cape Town. Uh, I recommend it. I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.